Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Grimmel School. Nail sculpting with gel tips is getting more and more popular. And a lot has changed since I released my video on it last year. So let's catch up on all the nuances today. It will be really exciting, so let's get into it. And here are today's nails. These nails were sculpted with gel tips. As for the mistakes, there were huge gaps in the cuticle zone. The tips were set on a camouflage sculpting gel, so probably there wasn't enough in the cuticle zone and it just peeled off. That's why, despite seeming simplicity of the technique, there are many nuances here that we need to take into account. I remove the tips with clippers and file off the top part. These gel tips are dissolvable, so we can remove the top part and then wrap up the nails with acetone, and the tips will fall off. But since here we've got gel or gel polish, I can't say for sure, I decided to remove it with an e-file. For this, I'm using a purple drill bit, because it is rough enough. Note that the tip surface gets hot during their removal, so it may feel uncomfortable. Warn your clients to signal when it gets too hot. And the first life hack is to apply a thin layer of a clear material first. Then you will hardly overfile the nails removing the tips. Besides, I noticed that in many areas the coating did not get cured well. So it basically remained wet on the inside. It didn't get cured. Which is really bad, because it continues to affect the nail plate condition. Finally, I have removed this coating, which was more difficult than removing gel nails or acrogel ones. Now let's prep them for sculpting. I file up the coating leftovers and polish the surface. I do this before a manicure. Now I clean up the pterygium and the cuticle using a red flame drill bit. So the nail prep step is the same as in regular nail sculpting. I clean up the right sides in the reverse position and lift up the cuticle. We'd better remove the free edge here to make sure that it looks good on the inside. Now I degrease the nail plate and apply a dehydrator to dry them out. An acid-free primer for better bonding, avoiding the skin. And the next step is a clear base coat. We need to form a cushion between the nail and the tip. Just a medium layer will do, not too thin or thick as in the alignment. I'll be using this gel tips by Menka. I've got a few types here, stiletto and ballerina. These vary in transverse arches. And my model's nails are pretty arched. So I choose the form according to the arch and not the free edge shape. For bigger arches, 
we may trim the forms by boiling them. We just need to put them into hot water for a few seconds and then clip them on the sides. That will help to make the forms narrower and more arched. We need to fit the form to the nail plate. In my previous video on gel tips, I had to e-file the inside of the tip. And there is no point in it now, because the technology has changed. This time we'll be using a primer. Just cover up the inside, it will get dissolved a bit and there will be proper bonding. We may also decrease the tip on the inside instead. In the previous video, I set the tips on a special gel by the same brand. And here we can use a base coat. I cover up the tip on the inside and put a small drop near the cuticle. Now apply the tip at a 45 degree angle and press on it till the gel gets pushed out. Make sure to practice with the amount you grab. I keep holding the tip and ask the model to cure it with a portable lamp. I remove all the excess base coat with an orange stick. And continue the layout. Last time, I set up the tips super close to the cuticle. And there still was a tiny gap there. This time, I take a step back and fill in this area with the base coat to smooth out the transition. We can also file this area. So, it's great that there is a base coat. Use the same purple drill bit and build it up with the base coat if needed. To remove the length, we can use scissors, clippers or tip cutters. Scissors will do, because these forms are pretty thin, but hard enough. Trim and shape the tips. There are shorter nail tips, but I noticed that many struggle with setting them up due to their length. They are just too small. So one needs to get used to them, while it's easier with longer ones, but we waste some time filing the fridge. Now decrease the nails on the inside and on the outside. The surface gets muddy, but we don't need to polish it. I just touched up the sides a bit here. Such nails are pretty strong, so we can just apply color and a top coat. But we decided to do a baby boomer ombre. I'm using color base coat by Menka. I apply this milky one on the free edge and blend it out. It's super liquid, so it gets spread really nicely. It is translucent. But for more definition, you may use some white gel polish. Next up, this gorgeous camouflage shade with silver shimmer. I apply it near the cuticle and blend it out as well. Now I send the nail to cure in the lamp. And when it gets hot, we may clip it. This way we can make the nail more arched. I must say that the arches are different when it comes to dual and paper or plastic forms. These nails look more natural, I'd say. Now I cover them up with a top coat. This simple nail art looks amazing. It will look great with any outfit. It's one of my personal favorites, by the way. As we can see, with the base coat, the shape got a bit wider, so we could have filed the surface here. Here's the final look. Same gel tips, different techniques, different results. That was just one of the techniques. And if you want to know how to do an extension with paper forms, 
check out my other videos. Success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.